Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. Today and every day I try and show a different part of San Giovanni Rotondo. And sometimes I travel outside, maybe to uh, a city in Europe, maybe a city in America, someplace different in the world that is connected with Padre Pio. Well, I hope today that you will sit back, enjoy, and watch Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Well, Father, we've been talking quite a bit. We've heard quite a bit about your life. Uh, now you are on your way to Cerignola. Can you tell us when you arrived in Cerignola and what did you do? When I arrived at Cerignola, I started to work as a chaplain in the hospital. You worked as a chaplain in the hospital? hospital. The local hospital in Cerignola, a large city, about uh, 55 uh, inhabitants. 55,000 yes. inhabitants, a big city then? A big city. And what year is this, Father? This is just after Padre Pio died, a little after Padre Pio died. Just. Uh, Two years after. Two years after, this yes. is when you arrived. So about 1970, 1971? 70. 1970, okay, Father. At the end of the year, because I left San Juan de Rotondo in September. Ah, okay, I see. Okay, so you are working as a chaplain, you are helping at the hospital. Can you describe the city? Yes. I know there is a big basilica, but tell yes. us about your work. But generally, at Cerignola, there is a nice dome, large church, and also it is the seat of the bishop. Oh, it is the seat of the bishop, Cerignola. Yes. I did not know that. Okay. Yes. So, while I was working as a chaplain, at the same time, <coughs> I attended the university in Bari. From Cerignola, you would go to Barry to attend the university. university. For what, Father? What did you study? Mm -hmm. I studied uh, foreign languages. Oh, this is why you speak uh, several different languages, okay? Yes. What languages did you study, Father? I studied uh, principally English and after French because we were allowed only to to study two languages. <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, at this time we have some uh, padres who are here to help for confessions and blessings and there are a few that speak French yes. and I hear you yes. speaking with them. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Bo Bonsoir. Bonsoir, monsieur and madame. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, father. Okay, so um, do I recall hearing that you actually taught school later? Were yes, you teaching? Yes. You were a professor. When I got the degree, I left working in the hospital and I chose to work as a teacher in the school at Cerignola. Now, in high school. High school, okay, okay. thank you, Father. School, but uh, principally in high school. What did you teach? English language. Oh, you taught, this is when you yes, began yes. to speak, ah, to talk the English language? Yes, yes. Are you with the teacher, the professor? Oh, my goodness, <coughs> Father. Excuse me. Um, how long did you spend teaching English in Cerignola? I think a few, many years. Not many, many, I think 15 or 16. 15 or, I exactly don't remember. Hmm. I started to be a teacher from 1978 
till 1906. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Well, that is, you may not think it's long, but that's a good amount of time. Yes. In between your teaching and um, living in the friary, the name of the friary, Father? The friary is uh, the Holy Crucifix. The Holy Crucifix. So it, it was also, and it is still, a parish church. And I work as a priest in the church, saying Mass, meeting people, and uh, hearing the confession, everything. So you were busy, they kept you busy your entire yes. life from yes. what we hear. Um, Father, I know that many people from Cerignola, they come to San Giovanni Rotondo. So over the years, you have made many, many friends in Cerignola. Many, many. I think a lot of my colleagues work in the, in the hospital. And many patients that I met visiting them in the hospital. And also, when I was teaching, a lot of boys and girls that were my pupils and the teachers. So I tried to do my best, but I had also my fault, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I was very severe. Sometimes I was sweet with the, with the students. With the students, yes. Well, I know, I do not know you to ever be severe, but I know you are a uh, one who likes to joke, so I'm sure the students yes. enjoy. Do you see the students today sometimes? Do they come to San Giovanni Rotondo? Yes, uh, I met some of them when they came to receive the communion. Oh. And also they came into my office uh, or along the street to greet me. Lord. Uh, Father, uh, you still, you visit Cerignola and when you are there, obviously, uh, the people yes, on the yes. street recognize yes, you and say they hello. they recognize me. They are very happy. I think most people are happy when they see you. I know when I have been with you in Petrocina, the yes, people are yes, happy to see yes, you. So yes. I'm sure wherever you have been. Uh, Father, can you just describe that basilica a little bit? Because it's famous. Something is famous about the size or the dome or... Do you know any history on that? The history, I don't know. <clears throat> I think that it was built with the money of a, a rich man of Cerignola. The name was Tondi. Tondi. Uh, did he... Is it dedicated? Is he buried inside? Is there inside any... Inside is uh, our lady of uh, Ripalta. Oh, I don't it's know It's a local is. name because uh, the picture, all the picture of our lady of uh, our mother of God was brought and found in the area. The Ripa was the law the place where Our Lady was found. The Reaper, Our Lady, the picture are the, are the yes. image of Our Lady. Yes, and today there are many uh, women, women oh. called Ripalta and the Ripaltina. Oh, they use the name. Yes. Oh, yes. beautiful, beautiful. There is a, a nice feast, a large feast there on the, the I think uh, 17th, 8th and the 10th of September. Oh, a big feast in Cerignola. Yes. Well, maybe one day I will be lucky enough to attend. Yes. Our Father, uh, through your years in Cerignola, uh, did you have the opportunity to meet any military? Um, I know, I think the military, the soldiers, maybe were stationed somewhat nearby. But generally came to the carabinieri, the police, mm -hmm. and also, but the soldiers, I don't remember, oh, okay. but the carabinieri, police, and sometimes also firemen. Oh, and the firemen, yes. Uh -huh. they uh, came. There is also what I remember, 
and I think maybe today it still happens, there was an older padre that went out, and I think you told me that he goes out not begging, but uh, going for donations. Uh, does this, or is this, uh, was this, part of the job of a Capuchin to go out, to get donations, to feed the poor, to use the money to buy clothes for the poor, that kind of thing? When in Cerniola. In Cerniola, I remember was, the man. Uh, yes, a nice uh, brother. Yes. Brother Giovanni from Vieste. From Vieste. He's a nice uh, brother. He spent all his time selling the mass, cleaning the church, and go out as a beggar to ask everything for the, the church and for the friary. Father, um, that is the life of a Capuchin to serve others. Yes, yes this is part of your rule. Uh, Father, in the church uh, in Cerignola, it is a parish church. So the church itself, is that a Capuchin church or is that a diocesan church? No, it is a religious uh, house and the religious church. But at the same time, the bishop asked the superior that our church must be also a parish church to help people around the area. And still today, this is yes, what goes on. Today. Oh, very, very good. Our Father, when you finished Cerignola, where was your next visit? Where was your next stop in life? I think it was San Giovanni Rotondo, because my health was not very, very well, because while I was at Cerignola, I had two operations with my heart. One, the first at Potenza, in uh, not very far from here. And the second operation at the heart, I had it in Bologna, in the north. That's a little bit and of a distance. Thanks to God, I'm still here. I was going to say, you are like the commercial on the television, at least in America, the little bunny that keeps going and going and going, the, the little bunny that has the batteries. Yes. Father? We uh, will end here, and we will now, in our next episode, talk about your arrival in San Giovanni Rotondo. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, each day, and each time we close Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo, I always like to pray the Hail Mary, the prayer that Padre Pio loved so very much. Please join me now. For your intentions. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. Saint Pio, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, you can always contact us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye.